Okay, getting close here in race number seven this afternoon. We also have a winner of a $50 uh, Sobeys gift card today, and the winner is Kathy Patterson. Kathy Patterson, the winner this afternoon of the Sobeys gift card. Kathy, you can come see me at the broadcast desk, second level here at Red Shores. As we get set for race number seven, horses swing in behind the Metro Home Building Center starting gate. Vance Cameron, up to you. Harlequin Romance, Woodmere Heather Ram, Traces of Purple, Locker Up, Classic Smiley, Evening Maelstrom, J.J. Brienne on the gate, top of the stretch. Here they come. Rough and pacing Harlequin Romance will lead them out. Woodmere Heather M is second. Third one to the turn. Traces of purple. Locker ups away for it. Fifth is Classic Smiley. Then six Evening Maelstrom. And seventh, J.J. Brienne, right in programmed order. The field of seven swing up the back stretch going to the first quarter. Harlequin Romance and is Joe Barrio on the engine by two and a half. Second is Woodmere Heather M racing from third. That's Traces of Purple. All alone in fourth, that's Locker Up. Fifth is Classic Smiley. Then in sixth, Evening Maelstrom. Trailing seventh, J.J. Brienne. The first quarter mile completed in 28 and four. Still straight alignment as they round that upper turn and on the point, Harlequin Romance the fraction center on Woodmere Heather M second. Third one coming out of the turn is Traces of Purple fourth. That's Locker Up racing from fifth. Classic Smiley Evening Maelstrom is sixth trailing seventh. J.J. Brienne they're halfway home with no movement on the lead. Harlequin Romance continues to cut it out leading Woodmere Heather M by two. Fifty-nine and Three the half mile. Third at the rail is Traces of Purple moving up fourth from the outside. That is Classic Smiley. On the rail, fifth is Locker Up. To the outside is Evening Maelstrom, sixth. Trailing the field, J.J. Brienne. They're halfway up the back stretch for the final time. Three quarters coming next. Harlequin Romance getting them there. Woodmere, Heather M., that textbook two hole ride. From the outside, third is Classic Smiley. Fourth at the rail is Traces of purple on the outside fifth is evening maelstrom the three quarters in 130 and two they're homeward bound harlequin romance trying to see it through classic smiley coming with her now and takes over the lead woodmere heather m is up the rail third traces of purple fourth to the wire next classic smiley woodmere heather m might have got there on the inside it's picture time here in the seven two oh one and one Okay, close finish here in race number seven. We'll take you through it here. The guys in the control room are going to freeze this late on the slow-mo here. It was a great race. The one, Harlequin Romance, one in front for Barrio, 28 and four. Woodmere, Heather M in the two-hole, past the half, 59 and three still. Harlequin Romance, classic Smiley starts the first long up here this afternoon for Dowling. They went to the backside, 130 and two still Harlequin Romance, but Classic Smiley was coming on strong. Down the stretch they come, the one starts to fade, five still strong on the end of it, but Brody coming up the rail with Woodmere, Heather M. Not posted yet, here it is now, yes, the two Woodmere, Heather M on the inside, skimming the cones late, is gonna get there for McPhee, getting up to nip the five late here. Woodmere, Heather M in the final strides, nipping Classic Smiley in a great horse race in race number seven at Red Shores. Woodmere, Heather M. and McPhee in the winner's circle. Next. Woodmere Heather M. 
Won the photo finish. He's at the winner's circle, pacing Brown Philly 3 by Malicious from the Rock and Roll Hanover Dam, for all we know. On the next generation stable at Stratford, bred by Woodmere Farm to Marshfield. Trained by Tommy Weatherby and driven to victory by Brody McPhee. Philly has her fifth lifetime victory today, 201 and 1. Woodmere Heather M in the seventh.